people were born to be superstars, and well, that's this truck here. She's a superstar. She got me me ring. <laughs> Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, who's ready to do it again? Let's go, baby. Hey, there's a chair right there. <laughs> I'm so damn excited to show y'all this vehicle today. Hands down. Favorite vehicle I've bought for the channel so far. Never seen one like it. Maybe in a movie or something. But I'd just say she's a little special. She's a special hauler. <laughs> now speaking of hauler, did y'all watch last week's video? You order a Corolla? No, it's not you? All right, I'll go on. We took this $150 truck and after a few engine pulls in and out a couple times, okay, let's just, she turned into quite the little tow rig and quite the ripper. I'd say so far on the channel, this thing's ended up being the best running clunker we've had yet. Some people were born to be superstars and well, that's this truck here, she's a superstar. So we towed with it, but I never showed y'all that this thing likes to rip. Oh yeah, she, she'll just flat out bug it. You can just hit a power shift. She could use some brakes, guys. For the $250 we're invested into this thing, you can't have any more fun than this thing right here. She's just a ripper, y'all. She'll haul a load and she'll haul booty. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this one apart. We may have to build a sweet front bumper for her and put some brakes on it and turn this into the thrash mobile. Uh, but let's go look at the new hauler. Not this type of hauler. She's a load hauler like you've never seen before. Before y'all think I'm cheating on these Datsuns, fun fact, I like all the old school mini trucks. Every single one of them, okay? Where that freaking half a truck was, this was there. And I freaking had to have it. How can you not get excited looking at this damn thing? That is a like 81 Ford Courier freaking U-Haul. Do y'all see how small this thing is? You know what's real crazy about it? I didn't even look the damn thing over good guys. I seen it and had to have it. Uh, I went, winched this thing up on the trailer, had to get to her just right, okay? So I got her up on the trailer. Do you know what you do after you buy your dream U-Haul? You haul your butt right here to Taco Boy in old Tecumseh, Oklahoma to get you a burrito. I left it behind my shop for a damn week and I just unloaded it the other day. Well, I can't see deadly. Big old box in my damn way. We're gonna look this thing over together good and see what she's about. Uh, it wasn't even up for debate if I wanted it, no matter what condition it was in. And now we get to check it out together. Right off, you definitely recognize all the stuff that makes it a U-Haul. So we got all of our little warnings telling us about our tire pressures right there. Empty weight, 3,000 pounds is all this little baby weighs. Used to have some type of logo on the door, I see. See, I didn't even notice that yet. Up here on the front, you can still make out the U-Haul, just barely. One way and local rentals. Got the old U-Haul here. Got some more of our tire pressures. In case you gotta change a tire, let you know what to torque those lug nuts to. You better not over torque the damn things, neither. We got the U-Haul mud flaps. <laughs> some old stickers here on the back with some numbers. Damn, this thing was last tagged in 01. That ain't that long ago, just 20 years. This baby is designed, engineered, and manufactured 
specifically for household moving. We ain't gonna be moving no houses with it, maybe some damn engines or something. Got the same stickers over here on this side. Now notice the old body ain't perfect, all right? See, we got some rust going on there. It's like she may have had a repair back in the day there. Saying that front bumper's uglier than hell would be being nice. You see, we used to have a tow bar, some safety chains, be able to plug this baby in and tow her as a little trailer. <laughs> and I don't know what in the blue pinstripes going on on this side. I don't know if someone was trying to stripe her up or what. Well, I ain't getting in that side. Keep children away from door handle, y'all. Interior looks like she may clean up decently, possibly. I don't much reckon she's been inspected since about 1990. Oh, ho, ho, what do we got here? Look at that sweet ass sign we just found. Look at that. That's the old uh, windshield sun deflector 950. Oh, baby. Keys are in it. It doesn't start. Looks like we got four speed here. Trusty four speed. We got the U-Haul edition radio. Don't be caught dead sitting on your seat belt. Look, 12 volts right there if you want to plug in your old CB. Uh, nothing good in there. Some freaking rat turds and paperwork. Nothing great in there. Sucks the dash is messed up so damn bad, but it's all right. We'll take her. Got some old starting fluid. We got all the caps, which is freaking awesome. I think the interior will clean up good enough. Uh, the seat is just ripping from me sitting on her, so that sucks. She may need a Mexican blanket. There is some type of toolbox behind this seat. We got to get it. What in the magic toolbox do we got here? And she'll mind this old seat made from a tarp, neither. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you damn right we're ready to change a flat safely. Safety first. <laughs> Those things look freaking brand new. Couple more will do ya. Oh yeah. There we go. Can't be messing up my damn perfect fender. Uh, let's look underneath the hood of this thing. I think we got the, what, what came in these guys? The two threes? Never touched one. Hey, look at that. Our reservoir's up here and goes through hoses down to our master cylinder. We got some Oklahoma going on, okay, which means we got some wire nuts. Over here, we got some even bigger ones. Of course, she's got her fair share of dirt daubers hid in here or there. I knew there was a motor in here. The lady did not want me to pop the hood on the thing because she had bad experience with another gentleman. Either way, let's see if this thing wants to turn. Oh yeah, she turned it. Oh yeah. It's actually pretty nasty underneath here, so I actually think we're gonna do a quick cleanup before we pull her into the shop and start trying to wrench on this motor. She vacuumed up, not too shabby. I'm gonna spray this baby down with my get gone degreaser by the sweet patina. He's got about all the damn cleaning products you could think of. If you head over to sweetpatina.com and just use that old promo code on the screen. She ain't perfect, folks. But she's a little better for us to start wrenching on. We never opened the back doors on this thing. <laughs> Up there in the dead body back here. Okay. I'm always worried about animals, y'all. <laughs> I'd say it was... Damn, there's a strong blast of chemicals. She's being used as a storage shed, it looks like. Maybe for some gardening. Look at that quick creek. How many bags of that we got? I'm sure that's great for the floor. We're gonna pour us a new pad. Some plant food, I think that's for vegans. I don't know, it feeds you for four months. 
You know, that's kind of disappointing if I'm being honest. I was hoping for a bunch of old stuff, so. Looks to me like we just got one hell of a mess we're going to have to clean out. And by the time we pick up all that, we're just going to have a sore back and a tall chiropractor bill. Well, by golly, she fit. Phase one's going to be, let's get this thing running, guys. And we hope it's going to run. And then depending on how it runs... Depends on its future, but I'm just telling y'all right now, this ain't one we're gonna beat the hell out of just to have a little fun. I plan on keeping this thing. I'm gonna take her get a foot long chili cheese dog if that tells y'all how serious I am. I mean business. Yeah! Oh! Gonna give myself a hemi. <laughs> it's about to be wheel and tire fest around here, y'all. I'm tired of it. Besides these four wheels and tires, I've also got all of these freaking wheels about to go to the sandblaster, guys. I'm plumb sick and tired of doing the wheel and tire three truck shuffle every time I need a set of rollers for one of these trucks. So we're about to address that problem real quick. I'll pull the hood off where you guys can see a little easier. There we go. I'm gonna pull these spark plugs real quick. We're gonna take a gander in here. That's good, real smooth. There we go. Basically brand new. Holy vacuum, what the hell? Thought we had eight plug wires. Yeah. That one wasn't very tight. Neither was that one. Neither was that one. The old spike ball out of here. Hey, that don't look too bad. Looking good. I've seen worse. Angle of these plugs, we can damn near see down in there. Damn sure can. Let's send the old boroscope down in her if I can pull her up on the old telephone. Oh yeah, we got her working now. We are going to go down to number one here. Old piston's a little dirty, but I can still see some cross hatching on them old cylinder walls. Number two is pretty clean too. See some cross hatching on old number three. Old piston on number four is about the dirtiest, but there's some cross hatching down in there too. Compared to the locked up motor in that white Datsun and that locked up motor in the Caprice, this thing's a, a good sight for sore eyes. I'm still going to hit it with just a little squirt of some PB Blast, put a little PB Blast on that ass. Just help get a little lubrication back in her life. Now, speaking of lubrication, uh, carburetors like to stick, so let's see if this thing cycles or not. So she cycles. She's still going to get a little, little spray. Some of y'all thought I overdid it on my hidden license plate. Well, have you seen the damn levers and teeter-totters on a Ford Courier throttle pedal? Holy crap. Anything else that needs lubed? We're gonna let that stuff do some soaking and I'm gonna go have those wheels and tires broke down and well, we're gonna have this rig looking good if we're gonna drive around town. Wheels are stripped. Some of the tires started showing up. Good looking showed up. <laughs> Let's look at throwing a battery in this thing. Now you definitely wanna use two red cables for your positive and your ground that way you don't add any confusion to the situation it can identify however it wants but i'm gonna mark it with black tape where i know how to identify it We 
we're going to keep a close eye for smoke as we get our old positive on here. These aren't the worst battery cables I've ever seen. Get our key on. Oh, we got electric fuel pump on this baby? Look at that square of electric fuel pump. I ain't ever seen one of those before. And look at that damn filter set up. We are going to unhook that before we go any further. Because we don't want that pumping up old nasty gas. There we go. I'm not a fan of electric fuel pumps, by the way. Let's see if she cranks. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can find a starter on this damn thing. I can't see it. That battery cable's longer than hell. Well, now we ain't got diddly. What the hell? It looks like there's our dripping <laughs> uh, wire that goes to our solenoid. Black and yellow. Yep. Okay. Put my test light there. My mom was here, had her try the key. I had power down there. So I just put it back on. And she's cranking again. That wire's pretty corroded. It could be a bad connection. We could be having starter issues. Right now we're cranking. We're sending power down there. I ain't gonna worry about it. Uh, we did figure out which wire we need to splice into to be able to get us a little push button hooked up where we can work out here. So I'm gonna take this and see if we can't just get her shoved down in here. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna take my favorite starter switch here and hook that to that. Our other side to the power here. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Every old mini truck has to have a damn thing of thorns in it. Before I crank too much more, you know what I wanna do. First, let's check the oil. Oh, she don't look bad. Smells all right. It's old, but it ain't bad. Y'all know good and well I didn't just leak that. I don't change the oil on a lot of these, okay? Uh, now I may recycle some old oil from our vehicles into some of these turds. But that's a different story. This thing is getting an oil change, guys, because I'm gonna drive this thing everywhere. She's worth the $20 oil change is what I'm telling you. There's her little baby drain plug. There she is. Oh yeah. Now I can get all the aromas. This baby's low miles. First owner's name was Alfred. Light loads its whole life. Mostly highway miles. We've got a good one here, folks. I think it holds 300 gallons. Holy hell. Boy, I'm ready when you are. Come on. As you can see right there, Ford put this oil filter in a super convenient spot. You taking your engine apart? Yep, sure am. You rebuilding it? Nope, just changing the oil. There we go, now I can get to her. Oh, she's turning. I'm sure I'm about to get oil everywhere underneath this truck, but I ain't passing up my opportunity of taking her off. Hell with it. Sometimes you just gotta grab life by the oil filter, you know what I mean? Bam! Grab life by the oil filter. Sounds like a t-shirt, don't it? She's tight. If your windshield wiper gets a lot of water on it because you're right here at the cow, just put it in its own little self-sealed trash bag. It'll be just fine. Get her old plug back in. There we go. Give you big red. She's a thirsty girl. Oh yeah. Looking good on the old dipstick there. Just turn the key on. We're gonna ground the test light. Oh, coil's hot, y'all see that? We don't even have to hot wire this baby like usual. Why don't we just take one of these old spark plugs and see what the chances are we have spark without even opening up that damn distributor. Coil's hot, going live. Holy hell. 
That's some good looking spark too. And I, we didn't touch diddly guys. Oh man. That mean we got a good set of points? Is this thing even points? It's a 81 model guys. I don't know nothing about these. I'm assuming it's points. I don't see no ignition module or nothing. Too damn easy. Too damn easy. I think we got a gem here, folks. She's like an emerald. Except instead of being green, she's white and rusty and burnt orange. Says you haul. Basically the same thing as an emerald. What do we do now? Put these plugs back in and plug wires on and send them some freaking get her done 91 down her snout. Last but not least, lucky number four. Got the old wrist saver 350 model. Now these things have been laying in the same position for so long, they just kind of fall back into place. If we got number one here, that is putting us right there. So we're going clockwise. So the next one should be three, which is right here. For that, we got four, which is right there. And then last but not least, Lee, we got two, which is right there. So we're good to go there, folks. And four. These old carburetors can be fun, but I think our main concern on this one's gonna end up being vacuum just because there's so much vacuum everything. We might do a full vacuum delete on this baby. I get rid of every damn thing on this thing that may even think about damn vacuum. Got us some get her done 91 right here. All right. Coil's hot. Here we go, baby. Come on! She thought about it once. Yeah! You dang right, baby! Hey! <laughs> Last tagged in, what was it, 2001? Had spark by itself. I don't know why it didn't bust off right off. I don't know. You know, maybe she was just a little tired at first, but now she sounds like she wants to play. I think the next step to getting this a runner is our fuel system. I don't want to have to squeeze a bottle and drive this thing. It'd be a little complicated to do. Now, well, we know we got a electric fuel pump that turns on anyhow. Why don't we go take the outlet side of it off, see if it's pumping, and then if it is pumping, let's see what, what we're pumping. So back there's the outlet. I'm going to try to give that a snip. Then I have to cut deadly, it pulled right off. We're gonna point her towards the ground and put the old tote here. Here we go. I think she's shooting dust. <laughs> then we get the old filter off here. Nope. Damn. Sure seems solid. Fuel gauge says it's empty. <laughs> We're gonna try dropping this damn thing. It feels like it's full of some of that quick crate in the back of the truck. Spread these bolts down and these nuts look like some real winners. There we go. Now we're talking. If you have a hard time getting them off that little rust, Push that baby to the side, you're gonna put that bolt in a bind enough where you can take the nut off. Little pro tip for you there. Next pro tip would be to get a jack under this SOB. There's this side. 
We ain't gonna fit with a creeper. Hell, we ain't gonna fit with a belly. <laughs> uh, we're gonna find our way in here one way or another. After a little cave crawling, I found these two bolts up here. Don't mind this shock at a damn 45 degree angle. There's two. As long as we can get crawled out, we're in good shape. Guys, look at that elephant trunk of a damn filler neck. Holy hell. Take a gander in here. Oh, that's nice. We got some dirt daubers. Got some wasp. Just wasp's nest. Oh, tapered Phillips with nylocks on the back. Those should be fun. They all come off that easy. We'll be in good shape. Lucky number three. Come on, baby. That's gonna be an SOB. We're gonna fight that damn uh, gas tank in the morning. I'm gonna go in and spend some time with the family. Three months, not quite close. Three months sober coming up anyhow. So we're gonna celebrate this evening with a ice cold fresca sparkling soda water. Not the same as a beer, by the way. Man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, that sucked. I hope you never have to drop the gas tank on your Ford Courier manager U-Haul. So this is what you hope to see when you drop your gas tank. Uh, you wanna see a nice hole in it, okay? So that's a good sign right there. Yeah, you can just go around and anywhere you see these spots that look a little soft, you know, just push on them, guys. And uh, see if you can't make some magic holes just appear in your gas tank, like right there. Boom, magic hole. Come right here. Boom, magic hole. It's not how we wanted to start the morning. We wanted to get it out. We didn't want to find out that it's a holy gas tank. Be a great time to have a damned old parts rig, wouldn't it? But wait, there may be one just sitting in the old backyard. Only problem is she ain't got no damn gas tank on her. She ain't, hell, this thing don't hardly have diddly on her. She ain't got a hood, she ain't got doors, she ain't got a back glass, she got a knocked in roof. She's worthless, y'all. Part of the deal, cause the lady's cleaning up that place was I had to take this one with it, which, you know, ain't a big deal. I did have to get it up out of the ground, put her on a cart, you know, had to get just a little creative to get it up out of there. There is an engine, okay? She's just missing a carburetor. Now, a rat was nice and actually stuffed this intake. That way water wouldn't get down there, so that was very nice of him. Got us a spare distributor cap right there, mint condition. It does have a radiator, so maybe we got a good radiator. Hell, I don't know. Got a four-speed. Anyhow, that don't help us with old gas tank situation. You better not match this Datsun gas tank or you're going to be coming with me. Got us a temporary solution here. and Well, that's the old hot rod gas tank from my old Datsun I ran back in the day. Now, here's the deal, guys. I guess I'm going to have to tell you this sooner than I wanted to. It's going to be a surprise, but I guess I'm ruining it. Uh, I'm going to end up bagging this damn thing. Not like in a month, okay? Right now, the plan is to get it running, driving, stopping. Kind of squat her down a little bit, all right? And she's getting a little makeover. I'm not changing her up too much, but she's going to get put, put and fight a little bit, all right? Uh, so, I'm not going to try to chase down one of those gas tanks. I'm not going to try to weld up those 70 holes on that gas tank. We're going to rig this one up in the back. I can open up the doors to put gas in it. I can easily look back there and monitor my levels. And you're thinking, hell, what if you run out of gas? Well, I've got about 1,570 cubic feet right here that says I have enough room to haul one of these with me. So we'll just keep about five gallons in one of these. And if we ever got to, we'll fill her up on the side of the road. No big deal. Come on, baby. You want these hands? I got them two for one special. Boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stick and pick, baby. Wrong shot. Get my seat. So we're gonna actually drill some holes on these supports and nutsert us 
a nut cert. <laughs> and we're gonna bolt our straps there. That way we can strap our tank up here. And then down here on the floor, we're gonna drill the minimum holes we have to to get a return line and a supply line ran up in here. So we're gonna mark these babies out and we are gonna center punch them with our spring-loaded mechanism. Place her in there and give her a go. So you have a hair more. Oh yeah, there we go. Snug. She's pretty solid. Now, the reason she's 17 foot up in the air, we got a crossbar here. We got a crossbar underneath there. So, if the weight of this gas tank, when we start driving, it's bouncing around and she wants to start sagging, pulling on them old nut certs, well, it's very easy to support this. And the way of running a ratchet strap through those and strapping this baby tight, and then this damn thing won't go nowhere. Look at how that tub says U-Haul. That's pretty damn cool. Our 5 sixteenths is good for our return. 3 eighths is good for our supply. See my old plastic fitting broke from back in the day. I'm gonna get us a fitting figured out for our return. I'm gonna mount it and run our fuel hoses up here to our hard lines. Disconnect our return and our supply come on there we go she's good i got our backup gas tank mounted as well we're gonna turn this on and see if this pump is pumping at all she's trying but she just ain't quite got it we're gonna top this baby off with some Get Her Done 91 and then I'll show y'all the new fuel system here. Between all this fertilizer and gasoline, I'm damn near certified to work with the Taliban. My local hardware didn't have the fitting I need, so we're just gonna drop the return in there for now and I'll get one then next time I go to the big town. Wired our fuel pump right up into there, got her grounded. And it goes right up here to our hard line and then here's our return right here. She just runs back to the tank, nice and simple. You wanna mount these turds where they're easy to change because you will be changing them. She's about a hundred times more quiet than that old one. We're getting some return now. I'm gonna see if I can't fire this thing up sitting in here. Oh! Oh, uh, here comes fuel now. Can you see it coming up that bowl? She may have been a little stuck. Woo! tell she's flooding guys uh pick up that throttle have her wide open and it'll finally bust off sounds pretty good once it starts running uh for no more than what we've done but because i'm gonna keep this thing and drive it this thing's getting a full tune-up we're about to do plugs plug wires we're gonna actually open up the distributor and i ain't gonna lie i think i may eliminate as much as this vacuum smog Whatever the hell's extra on this, I may just plumb pull it off because I'm just sick and tired of looking at it. See if we can't just mess this up where it never runs right again. The amount of crap on this engine is unreal.
But if you're worried that I won't be able to sell this to someone in California, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Heaven forbid I can't sell it to someone in California to make it how I want it. We get a 10 millimeter, we'll be in business. Well, this wire would be in our way, but luckily we got this old twist nut. And that ain't really a problem. Boy, I don't know why anyone would want to eliminate all that. When your smog's on its own belt, guess what? Put that in the California pile. There we go. I'm going to put this in the no thank you pile also. Bam! She's been Oklahoma-fied now. Look how much damn better this side of the engine bay looks. Holy cow. It's not bad to know what stuff is like this. I don't know what this is. Vacuum goes to it, some type of switch. Wires are chewed up on. And all this crap is just a mess. So I'm pulling every bit of it. I don't know what that is neither. I'll take it to that side. And hey ho, if we don't have even more vacuum BS. Pull our plugs and plug wires. A little wet in there and a little corroded. Somebody sent me a spark plug cleaner and we're gonna try it out one day. I didn't try it on these because I knew we were gonna replace them. Old rotor here's in pretty bad shape. She's worn out. This thing does have electronic ignition, which is probably why it's got this big old box strapped to the coils back. So we'll just pop that cover back on. Put our new rotor on. Slap of the kappa on. Oh, she's lubing up top. Damn, that is clean. See if she ain't a 12 millimeter like the old Datsuns are. Of course she is. All right, now that all that smog's out of here, look where I can fit. Got a clip on the throttle right here, I'm sure to lose. Well, oh, saved her. There we go. That was nice and tight, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe we can do away with some of that. There we go. Just don't worry about that big hole right there. We'll take care of it. That's what I think about all that. Now we just got a hole we gotta address. So here's where that was going. That's exhaust elite number two, dosey. Most people don't know it, but you can use your just steel wire in your MIG and weld up cast aluminum. You know good and well that won't work. All right, that ain't gonna work. Uh, I thought I had a big enough tap for that. I don't, I only have eighth inch NPT, so we need a little bigger. So right now we're just gonna keep on strolling. If I don't find one by the end of the day, I will clean that hole out and I will fill it full of JB Weld and we'll never have a problem out of it again. Sometimes you just gotta embrace your inner redneck and weld up your smog on your exhaust and JB Weld some holes, okay? I'm gonna tear into this carburetor and we're gonna refuel with some ostrich jerky. Gotta stay energized. Her old base gasket on the bottom was in bad shape. Huh? I don't think this thing's gonna be filthy in here, but I'm still gonna pull it apart and 
See what I can see, I reckon. One of you guys said to get you a muffin tin to put your stuff in. And I ain't got the magnets to the bottom yet, but that's a start anyhow. Never a bad idea to take pictures of carburetors before you disassemble. Someone's had to gone through this carburetor. It's way too damn clean. This is one of them units with about a million passages. This is about the best carburetor I've been into yet, I'd say. 100%. Someone rebuilt this thing right before it got parked, I think. It didn't get used much neither. That gasket was out, so that explains why it was leaking just a hair. Same there. Get her float out. That little spacer. That baby ain't tight at all. So I wonder if this is a solenoid that cuts off the fuel, kind of like some of those old Datsuns have. That thing ain't tight neither. Sure what it looks like. Probably should have left this damn thing alone. It's gonna run like hell now that I got a hold of it. I just go through this thing one at a time and uh, clean these ports, make sure they're good to go. I'd say she's good. I have found a couple cracked gaskets that were dry and whoever rebuilt this, uh, they didn't believe in the stuff being very snug. Uh, a lot of the stuff didn't really have torque. It was just snug that's it and i like her to be a little tighter than that so i'm glad we got in here anyhow there we go got the old carburetor back together i think i'm glad we pulled this apart also because as i went to put this base back on the secondaries were pretty locked up they weren't a hundred percent but i had to keep spraying it and working it back and forth uh, that vacuum was not going to pull that secondary, for sure. Use that drill to clean that out. For those of y'all who thought I was playing about some JB Weld, I was not. I'm going to put this duct tape on the back side to keep her from coming through. If you're willing to cut up your factory parts because you believe you make it better with JB Weld, you may be from Oklahoma. Ain't nothing wrong with this. We may have a little to clean up on the inside, but It'll be okay. I'm happy with that. My shop stays a thousand degrees and never cools off. So we're gonna leave her in the old powder coat and oven tonight. We'll be back on this thing in the morning. We'll take it. She looks slightly better than what it did before we started hacking on it. Those are the brackets I had to take off to change the damn oil.
pretty happy with that, guys. Oh, that's nice. Our gas been leaking all damn night? Sure enough have. Next, we need to make a gasket for this. In my last mail time video on my other channel, Put in Sab Shop 2, Eugene from New York sent us out a roll of this gasket material, and look at that. Here we go using her already. Link to that channel in the description of this video if y'all wanna go give it a follow. Now she's starting to take shape. To mark our holes, you can press and give her a le left or right. Time to do some body work. I'm gonna work on the body of this gasket. Take you a little socket, about the size that you need. Put it over right there. Give her a few taps and you're good to go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We got us a new gasket. Slapped us a new supply and return hose on there instead of the old ones. Next, we're gonna get this old carburetor back on here. Carbs on, throttles hooked up, new fuel hoses. Put the couple wires on. Uh, let's look at some vacuum for this thing. So we'll put a cap here. Not sure which of these are supposed to go down to the distributor. I'm gonna cap this one. I'm gonna cap this one. I'm gonna cap big in here. Run this vacuum hose from here. Down to our distributor. Am I missing something? Possibly. Is it gonna run? Probably. Did we do it any good? Who knows? I don't give a damn, it sure is cleaner. I'd actually like to clean up all this wiring too. We just ain't got time right now. Uh, let's slap the plug wires on her. Give her a couple mark. Actually, before we go any further, due to last week of getting that Dotson engine in all the way and filling her up with water and finding all them leaks, let's put some water in this damn thing. Probably should have done that a long time ago. So damn nice, that's probably why it got parked. We lost some freeze plugs, they parked it. Oh, maybe not. So far, it didn't even get half a gallon in her. We can let that drip off, then we'll check for leaks after we finish leaking what we over poured. Back to the plug wires. Number one. Hard to put plug wires on when you don't have spark plugs. Let's uh, check those babies. Now, speaking of spark plugs, one, I just realized O'Reilly's never gave me mine, so I don't have spark plugs, but two, a couple of you guys sent me out some of these old books. If you're looking to get into a project like this, find you one of these old books. There's all kinds of good info in these. Y'all sent me these books because I'm always messing with Datsuns. Right before Datsun. Not the damn Capri. Courier, there it is. 81. There's your spark plug gap. 31 thousandths or 34 thousandths. Depends on your plug. And there's just all kinds of goodness in these books, guys. Hey, Chris. hey Chris, this is the guy you didn't send spark plugs to for his 81 Ford Courier U-Haul. Oh, no shit. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't no plugs in there. Spark plugs are on their way. So back to our book, all kinds of goodness. There's our exploded view of carburetor and everything. Uh, just all kinds of good info. Get number three, number four, and number two. Looks a little fancier than our usual zip ties. Pop that coil wire on. Take a quick look at the old clutch since we're waiting. She could use cleaned out. It's a little better. Topped her off and cycled it a few times and look at that. Spraying that down with PB a few days ago paid off. 
Oh, it's actually moving some. Gotta tell you, Ford, I wasn't impressed with all your baloney on this side and your oil filter placement. Well, that slave cylinder placement's about the dumbest thing I ever have seen. 13 square acres around that transmission on the bottom side. We better just mount that son of a bitch right on top, huh? Got that bleeder pulled, finally. Yeah, not a fan of that spot. She had a little poo-poo in her. Coming at you. I got a whole piece of fuel hose in the end of the shop back going down to the bleeder. And I'm just pulling fluid through here. Uh-oh. No, we got a pedal, but I don't believe we got a clutch moving. I think I know why our pedal feels solid. Old slave cylinder's rusted up pretty good. So he's just a little crunchy in there. That's just some wadded up sandpaper there. Oh yeah. That ain't coffee, folks. Another round. Look at that, it just keeps coming. How beautiful. I'm not opposed to putting a new one on it, guys. It just won't be in till Monday, and we ain't got till Monday. And I'm impatient, so I'm gonna give her some love taps. Oh, it definitely just moved. Just made us a new tool here. Luber again. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Did you see that thing just blast? Where in the hell did it go? It come all the way out here, guys. <laughs> there she is. Guess what? Seal still looks good, so we should be able to clean this up. I'm gonna clean up the piston real quick, being careful around the seal. There we go. Little engine assembly lube on this baby. Slide our piston back in. Feels good. As long as she seals, we're good to go. That's basic hydraulics right there, folks. Gonna clean up our little push rod thingy. As long as our seal don't bypass, she should push. And I've got her back on the truck. I'm gonna go through the bleeding process again. Hopefully, we got a clutch after that, folks. I think we've got a clutch, guys. Back to our spark plugs that we were waiting on. Got them gapped to 34. I'll slap them in and the plug wires on. Get those babies snug. You ain't gotta smoke those things to Alabama like some of y'all like to do, by the way. One, two, Come on. Three. And, uh, by the way, I did bolt down our valve cover, okay? So, she's secure again. Turned our fuel pump on. Looks like our bowl filled up. I can see some fuel in there. Let's see what happens here.
we ran out of fuel, y'all. Couldn't have been the fact that it just drained out all night, could it? This thing runs pretty good after that tune-up, and I don't think taking all that BS hurt off hurt. Can y'all imagine something, though? Can y'all imagine what people are gonna think when they see me in these freaking glasses loading gas on the bank of my little box truck? <laughs> So Tecumseh Terrace, back at it, baby. Oh, Pike County bombers running wild. The old T-Town Terror's on the loose again. I think we're empty. They come after me, you're gonna see me in a low speed chase on the old news television set. Sounds like there may be a slight exhaust leak over here somewhere. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I'll get one of these on order, but for now she gets the redneck rebuild. That baby looks slicker than some gasoline on an oil soaked floor. Look at that. It's that good stuff, baby. We are getting fluid up here to our calipers, so we should have some type of brakes. Now I'm not worried about these things being perfect because I ordered everything to rebuild all the brakes on this. So for now, if it gets us stopping, we'll take it. What the hell? The wheel's rubbing? Yep. Fresh scrape mark right there. See the shiny metal right in there? Not really a big deal, guys. All you gotta do is go up to your local hardware and buy one of these universal wheel spacer kits. I think you take about four of those each. Bam, 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 and bam. Six lug nuts at half threads, equivalent to three at full thread. And if three won't hold it, six never would have. So put that in your math notebook and turn it in. We're gonna have to take that. to record that little part we just did. Let me stop on this hill. Damn parking brake works. Oh yeah, we're rolling. Set that parking brake. There we go. I don't know what I did to get so lucky to deserve this damn thing, but I'm way more excited than this than I probably should be. Especially now that we've got her running pretty good. Engine smooth, steering feels good, brakes feel pretty good, clutch is a little soft. I think there still may be a little air in her. I did see on the one tag that it said this thing had 364 gear ratio, maybe a 362, somewhere in there. We're babying this one, we're taking care of this. We're not gonna beat the crap out of it like some of them little dats ends, okay? We're at we need this one to last. This is the, this is gonna be our swap meet, merchandise, haul in, who knows what. This thing is too damn good to beat on. She's gonna be the go to the Brahms and get an ice cream sundae cruiser is what she is, guys. I'm so damn freaking happy right now. 
case these people want to see what a real truck looks like, here it is. <laughs> Could I help it, guys? We got to take her around the block, see how she does. Looks like our speedo works even. Carburetor's good on this thing. Idles downwheel at stop signs. This thing's a freaking peach is what she is. Got this speed demon in third gear now. Watch out. Be blowing grass on my damn yeehaw. Oh man, this is good. This is good. Look at that. Look at that. This thing is good. I'm so damn happy. That's about as far as we can get right now, guys. Some of the brake parts, like the brake hoses and stuff, I want to replace just for safety reasons. They're not going to be in until Monday uh, when this video posts. So in the future, we're going to freshen up some of that stuff. Uh, next week's video, this thing is getting cleaned up pressure wash good cleaned up good uh should have some wheels and tires that don't go clunk 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 and let's just say she may be getting a a little makeover in the sticker department as well oh, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends you're crooked <laughs> hello hey i got something for you yard <laughs> she got me me ring <laughs> When we went to look for wedding rings, I wanted the damn pirate one, and she didn't want to get me a pirate one. So now I look like damn Richard Walt Rawlings. <laughs> Woo! I told her the other day I'd never wear it. I just thought it looked cool, but I got her anyhow. Thanks. I need it for when I drive my ship. <laughs> my old land yacht. There goes me love. Anyways, back to this. She's getting a makeover, guys, maybe. She's gonna get a little flair and attitude added in her life. We're gonna have her looking good. She's staying the orange and white though. I want I want people to know it was a U-Haul. We're gonna clean up the interior. We're gonna address the seat. I think we're gonna address the front ugly bumper. We're gonna get the 4,000 pounds of concrete out of the back. I hope you guys come back and watch next week as we get this baby freshened up even more. I'm so ready to drive this damn thing around town. Now, let me tell you guys about some t-shirts. I have t-shirts for sale. Look like one of those sign men on the corner trying to bring you into the Puddin's Fab. 50K shirts are expected to be to us October 2nd, and then we're gonna ship them out to you guys. I appreciate you guys being patient. The supplier who's taken over a month to get me shirts though they do great prices for me it's taking so long i'm looking at a new supplier new supplier's local he's a hop and a skip up the road from me and he said if i order shirts today this when this video posts this monday i'm gonna have t-shirts in stock this following friday and this friday these t-shirts are gonna be very simple okay it's gonna be the logo on the front puddin's fab shop it's also just gonna be the logo on the back it's also going to be the logo on the back. Okay, I've never done these t-shirts before. So just Puddin's Fab, Puddin's Fab. Here's the kicker though. I kind of like this darker blue of the Travelaw. So I'm going to do these ones in both colors. You can get the lighter blue like the Truck and Lodestar, or you can get the darker blue like the Travelaw. It's your choice. I just know you better get them while they're hot because t-shirts don't last when we get them in stock. We, we get them in stock, they sell. It's that classic saying, you snooze, you lose. Ain't nobody losing around here because we're all winners, every one of us. But if you want to support the channel, we got stickers, we got koozies, we've got patches, we've got stuff. Uh, the hats are not in stock yet. I don't, I'm not happy with this hat, so we're, I ain't going to sell it. Sorry, guys, got to get a better hat yet again. Hats are hard to get. Um, Patreon page is up if you want to support that away. I'm on the Instagram or if you want to give me a follow there. My other channel is up and running where we got the mealtime videos. Just posted another one this last Friday for you guys to watch. And uh, that's it. I think I'm done. Uh, one last final thing. Sitting on your ass won't finish your project. My project is to finish this up because here come some damn sirens interrupting my video. to find a u-haul box for this ford and have me a fleet not really i need to get rid of that damn thing <laughs>